Hello, this is number 18 of Sculpt January, and this time the title was Cave. So I looked at lots of reference images for this and uh, came up with this final idea based on lots of other 3D modelers out there. So it, the thinking is that it'd be part of um, an asset pack or something like that and just sort of slotted into a mountain or something. As usual, I make the basic shape, especially with something like this, it's good to have a rough outline rather than just grabbing the snake hook tool and pulling things out. It took about two hours for the sculpt and a bit longer to faff around with all the lighting. I kept mirror turned on even though I don't really want it to be symmetrical in the end. So I just take the mirror off a bit earlier than I would if it were a more symmetrical model. So I started building the skull in the middle. It took me a fair bit of time to get the shape especially as it was sort of planted into the mountain or cliff edge. But it really is important to get that shape first before you start doing any details. So I'm still on quite a low level of detail. and slowly pulling it around with the snake hook tool until I'm relatively happy. But as you can see, it took me quite a long time just doing that scale. I'm annoyed with myself because I forgot to press record for one of these. Uh, so I've missed a big chunk once again. This time I didn't lose it, I just forgot to press record. Uh, so when I'm doing a bit of the detail work, uh, some of it's missing and it suddenly jumps to a reasonably high level of detail. For the most part, I use the uh, crease tool uh, with pinch, obviously. So there we go, I've missed a big chunk there. But you can see how I've sort of added detail by using the pinch tool and the crease tool just to go in and draw some stones to make up the archway and to flesh out some rocks and to add some crevices and things. At this point, I decimate the model and apply a multi-resolution modifier so I can therefore use these sculpt brushes, these nice rock brushes from textures.com. I'll probably forget to put the link in the description, so thanks for reminding me on the last one, all those that did. Uh, but yeah, hopefully the link will be in the description. And I'm just going around uh, with these rock brushes, making the rocks look more rocky. I'm also using the rock brush on a very low strength and just going around and adding distortion to the rest of the model. I could have done a bit more of that actually. I noticed on the final render, the ground at the front looks a bit too flat. I'm trying to start to focus more on the actual construction of the image and its composition, so thinking about what angle it might be viewed from and things like that. Because on the last one I got caught up in the details and then kind of forgot the expression which was bored. So it's important not to forget the big picture as it were, of what you're really trying to produce and does it work. And at one point I noticed the skull was a bit too high so I had to pull the whole thing down. But that's why it's really important, don't go too high detail until you're happy with the composition.
So I'm deleting the back faces because uh, they're pretty useless, especially if it was an asset just to be sort of slotted into some scenery. And therefore my unwrap and my polys won't be so high and my unwrap will be using most of the texture. Uh, I took out the baking section because it's a bit boring and it takes a little while. I have noticed I'm getting a lot of errors with my baking from multi-resolution modifiers so I'm having to decimate them slightly in order to make them work. But you can see I've got an ambient occlusion, a cavity and a normal map. I'm still struggling to put these together in the right way. I still feel like I'm getting it wrong. I even looked up the mixed nodes to see if I could uh, figure out how to get it to look better. It looks okay, but I feel like it could be that bit better. Of course, it would be much better if it was painted. And I'm using these nodes to color it, which isn't ideal really. So I have a bit of fun with lighting at this point and I spend a bit too long messing around with that. And I finally come up with something I'm relatively pleased with. There's more that I could have done. I feel like I've stopped early with this one, but um, I need to do that more just so I can not spend too long on them. So there it is, number 18, Cave. Thank you again for all the comments. It certainly kept me going and made a big difference to the fact that I'm still here. I'm surprised I made it this far and it is down to people's comments and the support I've got from this. So thanks very much. Links in the description. So head across to Sculpt January. I'll see you there.